The Earth we live in is one mysterious, vast land of uncovered treasures, and not so much that was unknown is left unknown. There are groups of scientists working in different fields, discovering even the tiniest pieces of mystery this Earth holds. But there are times when even they are blunted when it comes to phenomena like these. We are about to reveal it to you right now. Stay with us and find out about NASA Capture's world's biggest tsunami waves heading towards land. In April 2003, the famous NASA flagship Terra satellite made a scary picture of the sea in South China. We are talking about one of the biggest tsunamis ever, heading right towards Hong Kong, which is the special administrative part located to the east of the Pearl River estuary on the south coast of China. A city that has more than 7 million people in it. To notice a wave on satellite, despite the modern up-to-date tech of satellites, gives us a picture of its possible length and enormousness. And on top of that, there was not just one wave, but there was the whole series of them. The main wave was measured by the experts at that time, and it was concluded to be 500 feet tall. Yeah, you heard that right, guys. No one knows the cause of this gigantic wave. It was literally 10 times the size of the Indian Ocean tsunami that unfortunately killed more than 230,000 people. That happened at 7.59 a.m. when a 9.1 magnitude earthquake, which was one of the largest earthquakes that's ever happened, splashed through an undersea fault in one of the largest oceans in the world, the Indian Ocean, impelling a huge column of water approaching the unwary shores. It was so big that Titov, who since 1997 has been the Pacific Marine Environmental Laboratory's senior tsunami modeler, stated that tsunamis look nothing like what we imagine them to be. The giant surface break style waves are something else. He stated, quote, it's a wave, but from the observer standpoint, you wouldn't recognize it as a wave. It's more like the ocean turns into a white water river and floods everything in its path. He added, we took a boat all the way from the middle of the island up to Banda Ase, the hardest hit area, and for hundreds of kilometers, it was as if someone had taken an eraser and erased everything underneath the 20 meter line. The sheer scale of the destruction was just mind boggling. So you can only imagine this upcoming tsunami, its unimaginable strength and ability to destroy everything in a second. When talking about a huge tsunami, we may assume that the waves were around 30 to 50 feet, but believe it or not, there are waves that can reach more than 2,000 feet high, which is actually as big as a skyscraper. At that moment, something really strange happened. The same wave never hit land, and the enormous tsunami suddenly disappeared from those satellite images, and no one knew what actually happened there. It lights up various conspiracy theories due to the topic, do you think that this might have been some technical error? Nowadays, satellites possess an enormous number of highly sensitive instruments. When they are launching in space or get online, numerous things can occur. But nevertheless, the system on the Terra satellite is quite often being verified and all of them are working perfectly fine. Huge presumptions started spreading and they thought that these enormous waves may be man-made. Or maybe they are only one test, such as underwater weaponry. On top of that, the science channel What on Earth, the documentary, made huge research, typically around this theory, that the waves that disappeared might have been a possible test of an exotic marine weapon. A preview of the documentary includes different interviews with experts from the field, some of whom put forward their evidence for this secret superweapon theory against others who say there was a computer glitch in the satellite imagery. Even some claimed that a similar type of weapon was used during the attack on Japan, and some of them thought that the tsunami in 2011 that destroyed the Fukushima nuclear power plants may have also been created by a man. During the Second World War, several scientists from New Zealand and the US carried out a string of tests. Many explosions underwater were used to provoke enormous tidal waves able to destroy the seaside cities located around these waters. What remains a mystery is the answer to the question. Are these tremendous waves a result of such a type of master weapons? And on top of that, what's even more strange is that this tsunami has a tendency to grow in velocity up until the moment it smashes into land. 
so many scientists were left in question, and no one could figure out how and why this gigantic wave vanished, where it went, and what happened to it. That what actually happened was almost impossible to be true, and no explanation nor investigation due to this topic was enough to cover the enigma it brought with itself. Even though it is hard to believe that these tsunamis are that much more enormous as they are, especially when we talk about a wave bigger than a football field and even bigger, there is no doubt that someone can ask himself if it is even possible and real for the tsunami to reach more than that, for example, thousands of feet. And yes, as the previous one, this tsunami reached an incredible 1,720 feet in height. Who knows how much force needs to gather for this to happen, and from where that strength actually comes from. However, this happened in 1958 at Lituya Bay that represents a quiet fjord located in Alaska. On one calm and chilly July evening, an enormous tremor hit the area and provoked around 30.6 million cubic meters of rock to fall 3,000 feet right into the Gilbert Inlet construing a torrent of dislocated water to go skyward and created such a monstrous wave that it is something similar to the one we're talking about at the beginning of the video. It caused huge, irreparable damage, eliminating all of the trees, the whole vegetation along the hill. This was one of the most forceful tsunamis ever captured towards land. Just imagine the force of this beast. How much force should it possess to succeed in destroying such a huge land? It unfortunately uprooted and abducted millions upon millions of trees. But what is quite interesting about this wave was that it only claimed five lives, and that's due to the fact that the area where this tsunami happened is extremely poorly populated, so there were no people around. And that's one of the lucky things when we talk about this enormous, gigantic wave disaster. This tsunami is real proof of how dangerous these occurrences can be when provoked by landslides. And if we take a moment and focus on this particular situation, more precisely on the landslide, we can say that it was one of the most dangerous things that has ever happened when talking about the power of nature and its potential, strength, and ability to destroy everything in a matter of seconds. However, not only the amount of landslides that fall into the water, but also the gig from which it did is also very important. And actually, we can freely claim that it is the main reason why all of this happened. No one wants to play with Mother Nature, and even when people don't play with it, it can be rude and destroy everything around. Even though people were talking about how powerful these tsunamis actually are, we can state that this one and the previous one we mentioned cross every line and represent the biggest tsunami waves that ever happened to this planet Earth. After that, nothing even close to that occurred, and no matter whether the landslides or earthquakes, these tsunamis are known as one of the deadliest forces on this planet Earth. On a related note, we wanted to know which part was your favorite one from our video. You can tell us in the comments section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.